Hey, y'all. So, as I said, I'm going to give you guys headline news that matches up with Bible prophecy. And, of course, we'll do Bible study. But for here, we're just going into, because we know that it's, in the Bible it says it's going to be wars and rumors of wars, right? But there's going to be one major war that's going to, in this World War Three is going to be like no none other. Because in the Bible, it says it's going to be a 200 million man army that's going to come against, right? So, look, let's look at this, guys, because this is serious. And let me tell you why. Because basically this in this picture, you see Vladimir Putin, which is from Russia. And we see Kim Jong-un, who is from um, North Korea. This is major because they're making a pact. And I'm going to read this to you guys. Um, so I'm going to read this. So it says, Russia Vla President Vladimir Putin and North Korean Kim Jong-un have signed a defense pact that includes a clause that both countries will help each other militarily if one is attacked. Okay. So this is major, and the reason why it is is because Putin already is allies with China and um, Iran. And now we have another country, which is North Korea. So all of these countries are against the United States already now. North Korea wasn't against us before, but now they are, okay? So not saying that we were best friends with them. I'm just saying, like... They could have been threats here and there and little rumors here and there, but it was not like this where they're actually making a pact to come against anyone that's going to attack them. They, and look, where, where are we right now? We have Russia's submarines that has nukes are 66 miles away from the United States, okay? And now we have Kim Jong-un, we have China, we have Iran and Russia all against us now. What do you think is going to happen? Like, we are not even ready to the point that we have to draft. They're now, as you've seen in the last video, we have to draft our people from the age of 18 to 26, right? They, wanna, they want us to draft our people. And I, from what I looked at it, what it says in the, um, in the paperwork that they want even women, okay, from 18 to 26, if need be. I, I, we're not ready, basically. If y'all look and do y'all research, North Korea, China, and even Russia, they on point with their army. We are not prepared as a country to deal with none of this. Do we have allies? Absolutely. But are we ready to come against four different countries right now? United States? No. Not saying that we do not have things, you know, but I'm just saying this country... They, they're, they're more prepared. We don't even have enough people. There's people that dropped out of the military due to the, when the pandemic was here, you know, not wanting to get the, you know, so this stuff is getting real. And to, for us to have to draft our own, some people have to draft their own kids from the age of 18 to 26 and just taking your kids before, I think for what I've read, it was, they were, they were asked, it was a choice. Now, this time around, it's if we go to war, and it's a guarantee we're going to war, they have to go, 18 to 26. I don't know. I need to know what y'all thinking, but I know from right th this right here is definitely not good. I want y'all to check this out as well. So on top of that, we got Mr. Vladimir Putin right here, and he is arming North Korea with long range. He's arming them. He's giving them long range missiles, weapons and technology in response to United States and NATO because NATO, we're allies with NATO because NATO and the United States is arming. This whole thing has to do with Ukraine. When this whole Ukraine and Russia thing, um, war started, we had, we, we should have stayed out of it. United States should have stayed out of it. And since we did not stay out of it, and we wanted to give them millions, if not billions of dollars. We, we gave them money. We funded them. Our president funded them. I'm going to say we. Our president funded them. Just like get, kept on giving them money, giving them weapons, giving them all this stuff. It's a smack in the face for, for a bladder. You know, it, we had nothing to do with it. But then we, we put ourselves in it. So now they attack. They, I, I said it from when it first started. Once we... Went and tried to get in, um, not minding our business when it came to Ukraine and we wanted to fund them. I was like, watch what's going to happen. It took time. But now look, 
Russia's on basically here in the United States. He, they basically here. And now he's, he's, show, he's flexing his muscles even more and showing like, look, now I'm signing with North Korea. So I got China, North Korea, I got Iran. What do we have? We got NATO. Okay, but um, we're not ready for war. And I, if y'all could look and do y'all research, we have the reason why they got to put people in the army because people have been dropping out. People have not been signing up out here in America. Okay. Um, I just need to know what y'all think because this is getting crazy. Um, but we need all we could do is really stay prayed up. But we know what's gonna happen in November. All this is tied into that. That and um, a, God forbid a, a pandemic part two. But all this is tied into that. We just need to wake up, pay attention to what's going on, because it's about to get real, y'all.